Good afternoon, guys. Afternoon, afternoon. Welcome to your 430 All Level Reef Point Yoga class. My name is Melissa. Welcome, welcome. Um, this is an exciting class because we have the winner for the share competition for last week. Yay! Hi, Beth. Hi, Carla. Hi, Vikas. Um, so, yes, we have the winner for um, this past week of who has been sharing the most. So, that will be announced at the end of class. Um, I'm so excited. It's very exciting. It's $100 to the fifth Fireside Grill and Bar in Richardson. $100. That is not shabby for practicing yoga online. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, I have to, uh, big thanks to Kathy and Dane for organizing it. It's one of their um, favorite restaurants and your donations on Venmo have gone to this as well to support local businesses in Richardson. Um, so yes, uh, yay, Eamon and Melanie, welcome to practice. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Eamon, I hope your uh, back is feeling better after our kind of slower practice yesterday. I needed it too. It was kind of a slow kind of day. Uh, anyway, okay, so let's get started. Uh, what else can I say for announcements? I hope you guys are tuning in at 8.30 for Dane. He has um, brilliant um, insights in the morning, some kind of meditation, just 15 minutes of uh, a little inspiration to get you started in your day. So check in with Dane. Um, other than that, we are still doing competitions. I don't know who the local business is going to be this next coming week, but we will have another gift certificate. So this one was $100 and we do have our winner. So go ahead and start sharing this video if you guys want $100. I want $100. But anyway, it is going to someone today. Um, what else is I going to say? Beth, yes, Elaine and John, welcome. Veronica, yay. Bridget, Marshall, welcome to the live class. Um, <clears throat> other comments, so yes, comment. Uh, you, most of you guys are doing great. Commenting in the section, just so I know you're here, because I write down who's practicing. And most of y'all are pretty consistent, so I appreciate it. Um, and the last thing is, <clears throat> if you are still enjoying classes, you can donate to Venmo to Reef Point Yoga. This is um, how we stay functioning and also how we provide back to the local businesses for the sharing competitions we're doing. Um, so yeah, just $5 every time you practice class will keep us alive and well. So anyway, thank you guys. It's Reef underscore Point underscore Yoga. Okay. Um, I had a message yesterday about um, what's contagious you know, and uh, that this fear has become contagious. I mean, it's spreading the fear, put the disease aside, just the fear is spreading like wildfire. And let's say, pretend that the virus doesn't exist, that fear wreaks havoc. It is like a disease on your body. It will shut you down. It'll put you into fight or flight, first of all. <gasps> survive, I have to survive. And that's sleep. That's your, just your, your nervous system, right? It's harder to cope. Um, and also, um, Kathy let me know, which makes sense. It's the number one cause of violence, fear. We, we're scared of something, so we want to beat it up. So, uh, you know, I'm, I, why are these people doing this? I, uh, we want to control everything, right? So anyway, um, the message yesterday was what, what's contagious that we can spread that's not fear, right? Um, and I was thinking love. It's so silly. But, I, you know, it makes sense in our own way. If we can find some way to apply that, Um love, peace, kindness, 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 kindness. That's the simplest way to do it. Love is hard to define. This is in my own spiritual practice. Compassion is hard to define. Kindness I can do. What's, what's something a kind, what would kindness do in a situation? How would kindness behave? Can we be nice? That's it. One of my favorite spiritual teachers has said, all you have to do in life is be nice. <laughs> Um, how simple is that? Can we spread niceness? We are repoint yoga. We are yogis. We embrace self-care and self-care, uh, spills out to our community. Can we just be nice to ourselves, to others? I love you guys. Thank you for practicing with me. Thank you for being in this with me. We're really all in this together. Um, 
let's just be nice. That's all we can do. Unless there's a time that calls for something more aggressive, but mostly <laughs> be nice. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's practice. I think we'll move it up a little bit today. Miguel from New York. Welcome. It's so good to see you. Miguel and I used to work together at a Mexican restaurant called Dos Caminos in Midtown Manhattan. Gail, welcome. Neha, welcome. Zehra, welcome. Kathy, yay. Okay. All right, guys. Let's practice. If there's nothing else, um, again, I will announce the winner at the end of class. So stay till the end because... The person may or may not already be in the room. Ooh, okay. All right. Let's practice. Ugh. Let's start seated. Get a block. Um, if you have tight hips, sit on the block. Find your meditative seat, lotus, half lotus, whatever your meditative seat is. I would like to have my hips over my knees. So there we are. I'm going to do palms facing up looking for a little bit of guidance, palms face down if you've had enough and you just need some grounding, one of each if you don't know which, okay? All right, I'm gonna do palms face up. Tuck your chin slightly, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. From here, slowly start to move fingers, toes, breathe. Waking up. Rotate your wrists, ankles. Deep breath. And then on your inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, pull your thumbs down to your heart. Bow the intelligence of the mind to the wisdom of the heart. Breath in. And breath out. Slowly let your eyes flutter open. Welcome to practice. Go ahead and take Sukhasana, easy sit. I'm gonna come off of my block. Take a breath in, reach your arms up. We're starting with a lateral stretch. Exhale, drop your left arm down. Right arm goes over the ear. Ground down through your right sit bone. Really reach, hold for three. Slightly tilt your chin up for two. And one, on your inhale, bring your arms back up. Elongate through the spine. Exhale, drop your right arm. Left arm goes up and over, tilt your chin up. Ground down through left sit bone for three. Straight left arm for two. And one, on your inhale, reach all the way up, warming up, exhale, take your first fold, fold over the hips, walk your hands forward. Every inhale, lengthening up the spine, every exhale, folding a little bit deeper. Two more breaths like this, inhale to get long, lift the chest, little up dog. Exhale, crawl your fingers forward. One more time, inhale. And exhale. You walk your hands back up, hands come behind the hips. Reach up, push your hips forward, drop your head. Hold for three straight arms. Two, and one. Go ahead and drop the sit bones down. Lift your legs up, switch the crossing of your shins. Reach your arms all the way up, breath in. And then exhale, twist to the left. Stay for two more breaths here. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. One more, inhale, get tall. Exhale to twist. Inhale, lengthen your arms all the way back up. Exhale to twist to the right. Two breaths, inhale, lengthen through the crown. Pull the belly in, exhale to twist from the navel. One more breath in, exhale to twist. Beautiful, bring it back to center, inhale. Exhale, fold over the lap, part two. 
Again, every inhale, imagine a little up dog in your chest, elongate through the spine. Exhale to fold. We're gonna stay two more breaths. Inhale, get long. Exhale, walk your fingers out just a little bit more. Stretching through the hips. One more breath in, fill up the lungs. Exhale to fold. Good, inhale to walk your hands back up, hands behind the hips. Lift up the hips, press the knees down, drop the head, hold here, straight arms for three, two, and one, go ahead and lower down. Very nice. All right, Hashimotanasana, to see uh, how flexible our hamstrings are after the weekend. You can start with bent knees, take a breath in, exhale, fold over your lap, grab for your feet, take a breath in to lengthen through the spine, Exhale to fold it down, chin to shin or forehead to knee. Let's do two more breaths here. Inhale, I take a little up dog in the chest, slide your heels out just a little bit more. Exhale to fold. Last breath, elongate through the spine, lengthen. Exhale to fold, hold here for five. Flatten out your feet. Four, pull your pinky toes towards you. Push the ball mound of the uh, big toes down. Three, two, and one. Start to come back up. Good. We're going to do that again at the end of class and see how far we've grown. Cross the shins. Roll over into your tabletop position for the day. Your tabletop pose. <laughs> I don't know if I told you guys I used to work for an English company in New York. So I've had all these English co-workers. <laughs> I just, I really wish I was English. All right, inhale, drop your belly, put your heart forward, look up, lift your tailbone, exhale, round your spine, chin to chest, push. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Again, inhale for cow pose. Exhale for cat pose. I didn't ever take a yoga lesson though with my coworkers. Inhale. At the time I worked there, I was really deconditioned. Exhale around. Lots of drinking, lots of eating. My how times have changed. One more. Inhale. Exhale around. Come back to neutral. Spinal balance. Left arm long. Right leg kicks back. Take a breath in. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale. Elbow to knee. Exhale. Touch. Inhale, get long. Exhale, pull it in. We're going to do five of those. That's two. Inhale, get long. Straight right arm. Exhale, take it in. Use your abs. That's three. Inhale. Exhale, take it for four. Balance. Last one. Inhale. Exhale for five. This time, go ahead and elongate one more time. Bend your right leg, left hand grabs for right foot. Kick your foot into your hand and open up, open up, open up, open up. Hold here. Ah, for three, two, and one. Relax. Boom. Flip your wrist to face up, palms to face up, rather. Make a fist, bend and up. We're just stretching through the tops of the hands. You can twist your hands, getting into the fascia, the fascia on the top of the hands. And then maybe point your fingers out to the sides of the mat and then take some hip circles. So we're opening up the hips, a little bit of free motion here. We're also stretching into the wrist to prepare for any kind of weight bearing exercises in the palms and the fingers. Very nice. All right, come back to your neutral tabletop spine. Left foot kicks back, flex. Right arm forward, take a breath in, pull the belly in, exhale, right elbow left knee. One. Inhale to get long. Exhale to take it in. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Last one. Inhale. Exhale for five. Inhale, get long. Right hand grabs the left foot, kick the foot into the hand, open up, look over your right shoulder for three. Deep breaths. Two, and one, release. Good. Let's thread the needle, let's get into the shoulders. Take your left arm all the way up to the sky, open your chest, 
Exhale, thread your left arm under your right. Plant your left shoulder blade down. And now you can stay here. There's a little bit of weight in your right fingers to kind of twist yourself up. If you want to come with me, take your right foot, step it out, and then grab your uh, right big toe with your left peace fingers. And then press the blade edge side of right foot down. Then you can take your right arm up and take a half bind behind your back. Oof, oof, oof. Breathe. For five. Breathe. Deep breaths. Four. Three. Two. And one. Right arm goes high. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower right hand back to your face. Inhale, lift up right leg. Exhale, right knee comes back down. Inhale, left arm goes up. Breathe. Exhale, bring left hand back down. Good. This time, inhale, right arm goes up to the sky. Exhale, thread your needle, right arm under left. Stretching through the shoulders, right temple comes down. You can stay here or come with me. Breath in, lift your left leg. Breath out, push down through the blade edge side of left foot as your right two peace fingers hook your left big toe. Stay here or inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, half bind. Grab your right thigh, open your left shoulder. For five, four, three, three, two, and one. Release your big toes. Inhale, your left arm goes all the way up. Exhale, lower your left hand back to your face. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, lower left knee. Inhale, right arm up to the sky. Exhale, lower right hand. Good. And then on your inhale, step your right foot back and then your left foot back and hold your plank. Hold, 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 hold. Rotate the eyes of your elbows forward. Right? Hold. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Find that stationary position for five. Four. Three. Two. And one downward facing dog. Pause here. Tuck your chin to your chest. Head goes down. Press the ground away. Super strong arms. Rotate your armpits inward like they're holding eggs, right? Bend your knees if you want to give yourself some space in your low back. Straighten your legs if you want to get into your hamstrings. Mula Bandha, lift the pelvic floor. Uddiyana Bandha, lift your belly in and up. Jalandhara Bandha, chin to chest. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, from here, let's just open up the hip a little bit. Lift your right leg up high to the side and open your hip and hold. Look under your left arm at your right foot. And that will really help you open your right hip flexor. Hold for three. Open, open, open. Point your right knee to the sky. Two. And one. Take a breath in. Three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot between your hands. Go ahead and lower your back knee and tuck your back toes. Come up to kneeling crescent if you want. You can reach the arms up. For three, stretching through your left hip flexor. Look up for two. And one, half splits. Shift your hips back. Option for full, your choice. Hold for three, two, and one. Bring it back up. Tuck your back toes. Uh, easy twist. Left arm down. Right arm high. Look at your right thumb. For three, two, and one right foot or right hand comes down. Inhale, three legged dog. And then go ahead and make hip circles for one, two, three. Opposite direction for three, two, and one. Beautiful. Down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. I'm going to take super cobra which is the first time I heard it from this, it was from Vicus. So Vicus, if you're still here, thank you. Super Cobra, you kind of spider walk your fingers out, lift your chest. If this hurts your low back, if you're feeling compression, inch your hips up, give yourself more space, and then widen your feet. Look up, 
Stretch out the neck. For three. Two. And one lower all the way down. One more time. Let it down. Bring your hands together. Inhale up, dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Then inhale, left leg lifts. Open the hip. Look under your right shoulder uh, to see your left foot. And open up that left hip flexor. So point your left knee to the sky as you lower your right heel. Notice if it came up. Hold for three. Push the ground away. Two. And one. Inhale, bring it back up. Look forward. Exhale, low lunge. Put your left foot in between your hands. Right knee comes down. Untuck the toes. Come on up to Salamba Anjane Asana. Oof, a little bit of a knee issue for me. So you can stay here, or you can reach your arms up for full expression. Look up. Stretching through the right hip flexor this time. For three, lean back if possible. Two. And one on your exhale, half splits. Shift your hips back, straighten up your left leg. You can stay here or slide into full splits. Hold for three, two, and one. Don't forget to breathe. Bring it back up. Tuck your back toes. Lift up your back knee. Inhale, easy twist. Right hand down. Left arm high to the sky. Open for three. Look at your left thumb for two. And one. Left hand comes down. Inhale, three-legged dog, open up, open the hip, hip circles, one, two, three, opposite direction for three, two, and one, very nice, down dog, take a breath in, shift into plank, exhale, lower all the way down, stretch your left, uh, inhale, upward facing dog, heart forward, exhale, downward facing dog, and breathe. Stay there as we are going to set up for some standing postures, some standing poses, a few sun salutations, even though there's no sun today. I'm pulling out my British accent again for some reason. Okay. Now, we're all back in downward facing dog. Lift up your heels. Bend your knees on your inhale. Look forward. You're going to jump into halfway lift. Bring your feet together in between your hands. Exhale, forward fold, head to knee. Pause. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Bring your fingernails in line with your toenails. See if you can plant your entire hand on the ground. If that's not happening, don't worry about it. That's just the goal eventually. Jalandhara Bandha, tuck your chin into your chest for three, two, and one. Slowly roll up, bone by bone. All the way up to standing. When you get to the top, inhale, sweep your arms all the way out. No. Exhale, sound the CTE, release your hands to your IT bands. Two breaths here, inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale, sweep your arms up, mountain pose. Sun A, exhale, forward fold all the way down. Fingernails outside, toenails, head to knee. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, walk, step, or jump, chaturanga dandasana. Upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here, inhale. Jalandhara Bandha, exhale. Uddiyana Bandha, inhale. Exhale. Mula Bandha, inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, head to knee. Inhale, reverse swan, all the way up. Press your palms, lean back. Exhale, some with CTE, hands come outside the legs. Again, inhale, all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, Chaturanga. <laughs> Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths, tuck your chin. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, straight arms. Exhale, Ujjayi. Inhale. 
inhale, lower your heels. Exhale, bun bends. Bend your knees, look forward, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse all the way up, press your palms, lean back. Exhale, Samba C D hands to your side. Last one, guys. Here we go. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Head up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing, three breaths. Inhale. Strong legs, exhale. Strong arms, inhale. Bandhas, exhale. Look at your belly button. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees, look forward, inhale, halfway lift, head up. Exhale to fold, head to knee. Inhale, reverse, all the way up. Press your palms, lean back. Exhale, so we'll see to you. B, here we go, inhale, chair. You can start by coming all the way down to a full squat and then lifting up. Three, uh, let's do five breaths, inhale. Exhale. One, inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale. Exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five, one more breath in, sit a little lower, exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, turn around now. Up dog, inhale. Bound dog, exhale. Pivot your left foot down, right foot steps up. Via the Padrasana. A, reach your arms up, lean back, press the palms. Exhale, Chaturanga, hands come down, frame your right foot, high to low push up. Upward facing dog, take a breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out. Spin your right heel down, left foot between the hands. Inhale, Via the Padrasana. A, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga, hands come down, high to low push up. Upward facing dog on the breath in. Downward facing dog on the breath out. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. One, inhale. Exhale. Tuck your chin two, inhale. Exhale. Three. Bend your knees. Look forward. Halfway lift. Keep your head up. Exhale. Fold. Head to knee. Inhale. Work, uh, chair. Sit low and then reach up. Exhale. Sound the CT. Two more times. Inhale. Chair. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Halfway. Exhale, vinyasa. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. One, inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale. Exhale. Three, bend your knees, look forward, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, head to knee. Inhale, chair, sit your hips, reach your arms up, press. Exhale, sound the CTV. Good. We got one more. I'm going to let you do it on your own. I'll start you off. Inhale for chair. Exhale, fold. Meet me all the way back up to the top of the mat.
When you get to your down dog, don't forget your three breaths. Finish wherever you are and meet back at the top of your mat. From here, step your right foot back. You can take a block if you want. We're going to go into Trigonathana Triangle Pose. So your right foot steps back, excuse me, your left foot steps back. Your right foot is facing forward. Okay. Your left toes are facing kind of at a 45 degree angle. Bump your hips back. Take your right hand outside your right foot. Maybe on a block, maybe not. I like my block. Left arm goes up. Turn your left hip, the top hip down just a little bit, and look up. Then open your chest so you can open through the heart. Hold. Five. Four. Straight right arm. Three. Two. And one, on your inhale, start to come up, take your block with you, pivot, right foot is in, left foot goes to the back of the mat, switch the block to your left hand, take a breath in, bump your hips back, exhale, lower your left foot outside, or your left hand outside left foot, you can take Trikonasana on the second side, right hand goes up, hold here, five, open your heart, four, Two. And one. Good. Leave your block where you are. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, warrior two to the top. Turn your right foot forward. Your left foot is at a 90 degree bend, or it's, it's parallel with the back of the mat. Reach forward. Hold for five breaths. Open your right knee over your right pinky toe. If your hip is tight, your knee is going to want to come in. Bring it back out. Five. Gaze over your right middle finger. Ujjayi, four. Mula Bandha, three. Two. And one. Inhale, reach your arms up through middle. Exhale, warrior two to the back of the mat. Pivot your left foot backwards, right foot parallel with the back of your mat. Hold for five breaths. Left knee over left pinky toe, five. Four, three, two, and one. Take a breath in, back to your center. Exhale, lower down. So coming back to the top of your mat, lower your left knee down. So your back can come as long body may also take a twist. Left elbow outside right knee. So first I'm going to elongate my spine. And then exhale, left elbow outside right knee and take a twist for five breaths. Five, four, three, two, and one on your inhale, pivot back forward, reach all the way up, come off your left knee, spin it all the way around, exhale, twist, so you're now your left leg is in front, right elbow outside left knee. Your back foot can be tucked or untucked, your choice. Five breaths here. Look up. Five. Twist. Four. Three. Two. And one on your inhale. Spin it all the way back around. And then come into star pose. Take a breath in. Exhale, goddess, and hold. Open your knees. Knees are over the toes. Lower your tailbone. Sit down. Maybe lower your heels and hold for five. Press your palms. Four. 
three, two, and one. Inhale, star, pivot the toes, to prasadita. Exhale, fold all the way down, fingernails in line with the toenails, tuck your chin to your chest. Hold, straighten your legs, bring the weight to the ball mounds of your feet. Fingernails in line with toenails. Five, tilt forward. Three, four, stretching your hamstrings, inverting for three. Heart is below the hips for two. And one, hands to hips. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, all the way back up. Good. Now, interlace your hands behind your back. Right thumb on top. Press your palms down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Chest expansion. Now bring the knuckles of your hands forward. If you want more of a shoulder stretch, um, you can release the palms. So the palms don't have to press. Otherwise, you can press the palms. Just see which stretch you like better. Tuck your chin into your chest. Jalandhara Bandha, again, weight is in the ball mound of your feet. Mula Bandha, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and drop the hands all the way down to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Pivot the toes to 45 degrees, and then exhale, skandasana. So I'm gonna bend, let, I'm gonna mirror you. Bend left leg, straighten right leg. Ooh. Hold here. For five, press your palms. Use left elbow, outside left knee. Four. Three. Two. And one, reach your arms forward like you're grabbing a baseball, well, this is not a baseball, a beach ball in front of your face. And then switch to the other side. You can use your hands on the floor if, that is, if that's better. Ooh, and then all the way to the back. <laughs> Hold for five. I'm laughing at myself because that is not yogic breathing. Ooh, all that nonsense, that's not yogic breathing. <laughs> five. Four. Three. Oh, we're here. Two, and one, beautiful. From here, walk your hands back to center, back to Prasarita, and then heel toe. Well, actually, from here, let's slide into either, um, you can stay, or start to slide into full splits. All right, if that's not comfortable, you can walk your hands back and sit in this guy, wide-legged straddle, but you're seated. Otherwise, stay up and see what happens. You can kind of come down to elbows. Hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now let's all come back into wide-legged fold. Take a breath in to reach your arms up. Exhale, wide-legged fold. Walk your hands forward. Five. Four, flex your feet. Ujjayi, three, two, and one. Start to walk your hands back up. And let's come into cobbler's pose. Now, if you have a block, so first let's do regular cobbler's pose. Ideally, your knees are down, so don't look at me. Open your feet like a book. Bring your elbows to your knees and start to push them down. For more, Heels closer to you, for less, heels further away. Find the stretch that works. For three, two, and one. Block if you have it, otherwise you're staying where you are. Block comes down, you put your feet on the block, hands come behind you, and then you can scoot up a little bit and open your hip flexors this way. For five, four, Three, two, one. If that works, you can bring your hands to your feet again. I don't have that in my practice. This is if your knees are really low. For three, two, and one. Good. Relax. All right. Um, very nice. Let's do a crow pose. So come on up. Or any arm balance you want. I'm going to do crow today, I think. 
Um, if you want a little bit of assistance, you can bring your, your block here under your feet like this to give yourself a little bit of a lift. <laughs> then your knees come to your triceps, look forward and take lift off. Look forward. Five, deep breaths. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to do the hips. If you have your blocks, where's my second one? There it is. I'm going to give you the block option and the not block option. If you don't have blocks, get blocks, guys. Order blocks. Um, <laughs> did you guys know that there's somebody coming onto Repoint's page and sending angry faces every once in a while? <laughs> Who is angry about crow pose? Well, I can imagine some of you. Sometimes I'm angry about crow pose, so maybe that's that angry face is justified. <laughs> All right, you're going to build a little tower for yourself. So one is down and one is up. Can y'all see that? Um, if you're not using your blocks, maybe grab a pillow. So I just want you to be elevated a little bit. And you're going to recline like you're sunbathing in Cancun. And then send your left leg long and bring your right knee up. And then from here, we're going to take our rocking the baby. So wrap your left elbow around right foot. Again, if you're practicing with me, write your name in the comment section so I know. Share this live video. We're having more competitions. Um, and finally, donate $5 a class if you like it so we can support our local businesses with these gift cards we're doing. All right, next, take your foot, your heel, or your foot to your forehead, to your third eye. Relax, lengthen. Take it to your ear, answer the telephone, hello. Hello. And then back up. And then final, final pose, if you can get your right shoulder all the way under there. Oof. And then see if you can kind of do a little compass here. For five, four, three, two, and one. So you can do this stuff on your back too, you know what I mean? Or you can do it seated, right? Okay, so take your left knee into your chest and then rock your baby. So if you're, if you're without blocks, you can be up here rocking your baby. Otherwise you're reclined. Order blocks. Yoga practitioners order blocks so we can practice to our full expression. So my left knee hurts because I've been taking classes online from someone who likes to do Lotus all the time and I want to do Lotus too. And I kind of pulled it, I did something so it's kind of funky. So I'm, I'm nursing it a little bit. That's what's going on with me. You guys did not ask, but I figured I would share <laughs> for no particular reason. All right, from here, lengthen it out and then to your third eye. And then lengthen. I'm going to answer the telephone. Hello, hello. And then out. And then compass. Or if you're seated, you know what I mean? You're here. Okay, but if you're lying on your back, it just gives you a little bit more space to kind of play. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ah. All right, going out. Very nice. And then, I guess before we start moving into bridges and stuff, if you want to come with me into eight angle, or if you want to, I don't know, I don't know about eight angle, I'll have a little wrist issue. But anyway, left leg up. So now you're all stretched out. Left leg comes over left tricep. Right ankle wraps around left, shift forward, and then bring your legs out. And then bring your chin down. Three. Two and one. You can keep practicing there or come with me to the other side. Right leg over right tricep. Left ankle over right. Take a breath in. Shift your whole body forward, all the weights balancing on your right tricep, and then look at your feet. 
for three, two, and one. Bring it back. Beautiful. All right, guys. Very nice. Let's start doing some back bendos. But before we do that, let's stretch out the front of your body because, as you know, now that I know, that a lot of the issues with your back bends um, are because you're the the front of your body is tight. <laughs> I just got a text message from Kathy. <laughs> Sometimes I forget there's people watching me. <laughs> okay, so get your calves out of the way, okay? We're doing hero's pose. So this is stretching out through the, the tops of the ankles, um, the shins, the quadriceps. Heels are outside your glutes. You can stay here. Careful for the knees, careful on the knees. If you need a blanket, you can put a blanket under your knees to give yourself a little cushion, all right? Um, otherwise, you can start to fold back. What are we doing? We're, we're stretching out the top of our body to prepare us for bridges, wheels, back bends. Ideally, the low back will come down eventually. I'm using my hands to push down on my sacrum to give my lumbar spine a little bit of um, space. Let's hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, come on up, come on up, come on up. Up, 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 up. Pat your feet out. Tuck your toes, camel pose. Reach up. Hands to your low back. Push down. Push your hips forward and lean back. Five. Four. You can open your knees if that feels better. Three. Two. And one. Oof. All right, let's do this. Come all the way down to your back. Level one, take a block. You can have restorative. All right, all the way down. Slide a block under your hips. Okay. You can just stay there, restorative people, if you just want to, if you just want to, Get the, get the benefits without going deeper. Otherwise, here's one level, right? You press down through your palms, you lift up, squeeze through the thighs. If your back hurts, you can separate your feet wider or you can push your feet out wider. If you are more bendy, your feet come in to 12 o'clock and push, okay? Level two, interlace your hands behind your back, slide your triceps under, look up at the sky. Take your pose, start finding one of these expressions. If you're ready for full wheel, off you go. I'm gonna to start to come into full wheel. My right wrist is giving me some issues, some issues today. Left or right, okay. The Vermeer, breathe out, and then you always breathe in before the expression, so in. All right, full whatever pose you're in. For five, heel stretch through the front of the body. Four, deep breaths. Three, two, and one. Chin to chest, lower all the way down. Lower, 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 lower down. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock a little bit. Sukta Baddha Konasana. Bottoms of the feet touch, knees out wide, left hand heart, right hand belly. Close down your eyes and breathe. Notice the energetic changes that are taking place. Find the stillness. Feel the changes, feel the energy moving. And here are the long guys blowing these around outside my foot. Adding to this solution. Okay. Open up your eyes, bring your hands to your knees, close your knees. <laughs> and then before we come all the way down, or actually no, we're gonna go, we're gonna stay down. Take your figure four. Let's stretch out your hips. Right ankle over left knee. Interlace your hands on top of left shin. Lower your head down. Stretching out through the right hip. Breathe. The 
this is also where climb pigeon. So for those of you who have issues in pigeon pose, this is where you go. Okay, this is your this is your pose. Flex both of your feet for three, two, one. Keep your legs where they are. Release your hands. Wrap your legs. Cactus your arms or tee them out. Take a breath in. Exhale, drop your legs to the left. Look over to the right. Deep breaths through the right side of your body for three, two, and one. Reach your legs or uh, bring your legs back up and then release. Figure four, left ankle over right knee and release your hands on top of right shin. Lower your head down, flex both of your feet. Three. For three. Two. And one. Relax your hands only. Now wrap your left leg around your right. T your arms out. Breath in. Exhale, drop your legs over to the right. Look over to the left. Oh, breathe into the left side of your body. For three. Two, and one, reach your legs back up, exhale, release. Now, fingers behind your knees, rock and roll, rock and roll, rock and roll. See if you can round your whole spine. A lot of you, including me, your lumbar is flat. You feel that slamming, this part slamming on the, on the ground while you're rolling? You want to have that whole thing turn into a tight round ball eventually. That's the goal. All right, we're all, all the way up, and we're going to end with Pashimottanasana. See how far we have grown. Remember how we did this in the beginning of the class? Take your arms up. Exhale, fold. Ah, ooh, I have grown a lot. Have you grown a lot? Notice how good that feels in your low back. And your hamstrings. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Start to come on up. And then take your last pose, um, some kind of inversion. Headstand, shoulder stand. Again, ladies, if you're on your period, you're going to stay here. Otherwise, you can invert. I'm going to take my headstand today. And we're going to hold where, whatever pose you're in for one minute. After you're done, if you took shoulder stand um, or plow, your counter is Matsyasana fish. If you're in headstand with me, your counter is child's pose. Take your counter pose. Three for five. Four, three, two, and one. Shavasana or your meditative seat. We're going to be here for two minutes, and then I'm going to announce the winner of our competition. So do not leave. Do not leave. Take your resting pose.
start to relax the body. Soften the muscles. Soften the thoughts. Bring the attention back to your breath. as well. All is well. As you're ready, start to move in fingers and toes, bringing electricity back to the body, deepen the breath, reawakening, fresh, new, rejuvenated, more mobility, more stability, more peace. And then um, Shavasana people meet us in Sukhasana, easy sit, facing the computer. And then when you get to your Sukhasana, Lengthen the spine, reach to the crown of the head, and then reach your arms all the way up. Gather up all that kindness, all that peace. Press your palms, exhale, bring your thumbs down to your heart center. Bow again, the intelligence of the mind to the wisdom of the heart. The light, the teacher, and the student in me recognizes, honors, and reflects that same exact light, teacher, and student in me. Namaste. Okay, my loves, thank you for sharing this Monday practice with me. We're not done. We have a winner to announce, and they practice today. So um, this is, again, who shared, um, and who was, uh, mo there was a lot of you guys that shared, so thank you. It was The competition was a little bit fierce. <laughs> we'll let you know. Um, and if you don't win today, don't worry, because we will be having more share competitions. So that's really it. All you need to do is share the live videos. Um, and then you're in. I don't know who the uh, next business is going to be that uh, will be next week, but we will announce that in the next few days um, after I circle up with Reef Point. Um, but yeah, so for today, uh, the gift was $100 to the fifth Fireside Grill and Bar, a beautiful little restaurant in Richardson, Texas, local. They support us. We support them. Um, great food, $100. And the winner is Melanie and Eamon. Yay! So Melanie and Eamon are great practitioners. They've practiced with me, I think, a year at least. Maybe. It's been a while. It's been a year? Anyway. Um, yay. I'm so happy for you guys. Congratulations on your $100. We will, get, we will reach out to you with how to collect that. But well done. Thank you for practicing. And for the rest of you guys, thank you so much. We're not done. Uh, we're going to keep giving out prizes. Thank you for keeping the community alive, for continuing to practice. Um, and again, this is how we support the local businesses. You can donate to Venmo, $5 every time you take a class, at reef underscore point underscore yoga. And also, you can use that as your platform. If you want to work on something specific in yoga, you write it in the comments. So it's just not just like a donation. You can say, hey, shoulders today. Or like, hey, I'm giving $10, I really wanna work on chest expansion, whatever it is. Um, so that that is your platform. I love you guys. Kindness, 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 right? Kindness is contagious. Let's put it out there. I love you. Thank you for being part of this community. Thank you for, for being a part of Repoint. Um, you are so loved. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you again on the mat, 4.30 tomorrow. Meet Dane tomorrow morning at 8.30. Um, I love you, bye.